Hello, this is Daryl Dickens with ArtPalover.com and this video is in my series on building your own artist website using WordPress. This is module one and I'm going to cover, over, cover the basic differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org because I know that there is some confusion. Uh, this confusion happens when you Google the word WordPress if you've heard about it and you want to use it. These kind of results come up and you'll see quickly there's a .org and a .com. The .com is a blogging service which you see here a lot of folks host their blogs. It's designed specifically for very personal blogs. It's not really intended for any sort of commercial endeavor. So it's definitely good if you're an artist that just wants to get your art out there and you don't want to pay a lot. You just want to have a simple website. WordPress.com is definitely a good place to get started. There are a few downsides. WordPress does put ads. Um, that's kind of how they support themselves and how they keep it free. You can pay to have those ads removed. I believe it's about $30 a year. The other downside is you do not get your own domain name unless you pay for it. So by default, it's your domain.wordpress.com. Pay a little bit extra, pay for the domain, and then you can have your own, but you're still hosted on WordPress. WordPress.org is software. Uh, it's basically content management software that you have to download or either install directly through your web host. And we'll get to all that here in a second. Head back over here. First, let's talk about WordPress.com. Like I said, it is a blogging service. It is pretty much designed for bloggers. Um, it does have some benefits is that they pretty much do all the um, maintenance on it. They take care of security and spam and backups and upgrades and stuff like that. You are limited though. Limited in your design. WordPress runs off of themes which we'll get to in a later module and in the WordPress.com version, you're limited to the themes that they have already uploaded. Um, like I said, you're not allowed to do anything commercial. And as an artist, that would include advertising art for sale. So that's a good thing to keep in mind that if you do hope to sell directly through your website, WordPress.com is not what you want. And you also have to pay to remove ads. To me this is a big one. Um, I've been on a lot of folks who supposedly have professional websites on WordPress.com and you see ads for their competitors basically. Uh, the professional website ends up looking very unprofessional. So that's the gist of WordPress.com. Um, it is a good place to get started because it is completely free like I say so if you just want to get your images out there and you just want to start to get in the practice of blogging and being in WordPress and on the web, it is a good place to get started because it can easily be transferred to WordPress.org. So let's cover WordPress.org. Now WordPress.org is software and this is where it can get confusing because it is software that you need to upload to a hosting account. So that means you're going to need two things. There are two um, requirements for it. A domain name, domain name, domain name, domain name, or you know a URL. URLs these days um, probably go for anywhere from Eight to fifteen dollars a year, and you're also going to need web hosting. Web hosting you can find for what you're going to need, most likely for seven dollars a month. These are the two basic things you're going to need to get started on WordPress.org. 
Most web hosts these days make it easy to install using one click install. You don't have to go through the upload method. And a lot, let's cover some of the advantages of WordPress.org. One, there's no limits. It's a nice big advantage. And by no limits, I mean there's no limits in the design or function of the site. That's basically because for design, WordPress uses themes, and for functions, they use plugins, which we will cover later. But there are thousands of these out there completely free, and they're easy to upload. So it's very easy to change the look and the function of your site through themes and plugins. But you do have some responsibilities. For one, you're in charge of things like security, backups, and spam. It is up to you to manage all of this on your own. And you also need to manage any updates. Just like most software out there, WordPress goes through a series of updates, usually related to security, and it is up to you to keep WordPress updated. So there's a little bit more maintenance involved with this. But this is really what you want. WordPress.org gives you the freedom that you need to do to create that artist website for yourself. So this has been a brief video covering the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Thanks for checking it out. Again, my name is Daryl Dickens with ArtPalaver.com.